watching, then welcome to my channel. It's Guap Game, baby. You know it's a lot to handle. I, I just did my makeup, now I'm fixing up my wigs. Hit down and hit subscribe so you can always tune in. Leave comments on my vids and like all my pics. Shop my website and go buy yourself some gifts. If you like a story, sit down, we all in. Bad, bad bikini, baby, some vibe. Okay, so let's get started on the supplies. The first thing you're gonna need is your dye brush. And then of course you're gonna need your dye, duh. So I got it in two colors. I got it in red and magenta, and this is the high color highlights from L'Oreal. And I just put it all in there and mix it together. You're gonna need a brush to brush through the, the dye through the hair, 30 developer, and um, your dye bowl. And gloves, of course, to protect your nails. So, a lot of people don't know this, but if you flip the top upside down, it's a little pointy part in the inside, and it'll puncture the for you for you and open the tube. I don't know if y'all know that, but it's just give me a look. Take tea, sister. So, right now, I'm just pushing all the dye into the bowl. This dye was so hard to push out, and I'm pretty sure I left half of it in the bowl. And fun fact, I bought this dye in February where all products that are red or pink or pink was 50% off at Sally's Beauty. And now that I think about it, I've used this product before and I've dyed my hair red before. I thought this was the first time I would be dyeing my hair red, but I lied. I just thought about it. I did it about five years ago in Gainesville. So now that we have squeezed all of that dye in there, it was still looking a little chunky. I added some 30 developer, but I didn't want the dye to be so chunky. I want it to be thick, but not chunky. So I'm gonna keep adding 30 developer until I get the texture and consistency that I'm looking for. But make sure you add it in little by little, gradually. You don't wanna just pour a whole bunch in there and then it be watered down. So usually when I dye with bundles, I have a method to it, but this is my first time dyeing a wig. And honey, it got crazy. I tried to do layers, I tried to do one side, and then eventually I just started pouring the dye over the hair and then using that brush to um, just brush through the color because it just wasn't working. So that's why I didn't show that part. But now I'm just rinsing out the dye and showing you guys the color. It's it has turned into and I'm satisfied with the color I just want to make sure that I'm washing out all of the dye and I'm just using some Garnier Fruities um, shampoo and conditioner nothing fancy nothing special and again this wig has a hole in it I don't know if y'all seen it that's why I decided to dye it to get a little bit of life out of it before I take it to the trash can Okay, so don't mind all the baby powder. Um, I had like a rash on my chest, so I've been putting baby powder on it. I need some old braids, but don't judge me judging mama. 
So now I'm just taking some got to be glue gel and I'm using it to push down my edges, which I usually don't do, but these braids are like a month old. So I have to like really, I really want this to be super flat. Then I'm going in with a new cap. I don't know if you guys remember how I bought all those caps from Amazon. I'm still using it. And I told y'all that I stopped using a got to be because it was just really drying out my hair and messing up my edges. So I'm using my Bio Silk Holding Spray to lay down my cap. And trust me, it lays it down a hundred times better. Real quick, comment down below with your cash app name and tell me what movie line I'm saying and what movie it's from. And I got you on some lunch. But right now, I'm just taking um, an eyebrow. Right now, I'm just taking an eyebrow shaver and I'm cutting it off. I don't like using scissors because, because of the thickness of the blade, you have to pull up the cap a little bit so this is going to give me my ball cap method without having to lift up much and make sure that you are cutting back further enough that has always been my issue when doing the ball cap method it was like all on my forehead So I'm not home, so I'm using 70% alcohol instead of the 90% alcohol. And I'm just taking a piece of tissue because, like I said, I'm not home. And just wiping off the edges. And then I'm using the bowl hole skin protectant and just patting it on my skin. And I'm going to let that air dry. You want to make sure that your foundation is clean to get a good install. And today I'm using the Boho Active, trust me, best glue on the market. I want to try the Erica J um, glue. I'm going to try to look that up after this and see if I can find it. It's always sold out. But you want to make sure that your foundation is clean to get an amazing install. And this is probably the best install I have ever had since I started doing my hair on my own.
Listen, this wig was the wig from hell. It had a hole in it. The hairline was um bald. I had to really do some surgery to it. But after three layers of the bow hole active, I'm just pulling up the lace to figure out where I want it to be so I can know how much to cut off. Again, I had to do like a whole hairline, new hairline to it because it was just over plucked so bad. And I've had this wig for about two to three years. So it's definitely time for it to go in the trash. I hate that I fell in love with it with the red and now I have to uh, trash it. Y'all, so I was getting too excited and I forgot to put the makeup on the inside of the wig and on my cap. So I'm going in now and I'm going to try to conceal the edges of the wig before I cut off the excess lace with um, some makeup. So this little trick I learned from 
Shakayla Ray and Beautiful Kira on tying down the hair. And trust me, it works a thousand times better than these scarves they selling. A thousand times better than the little black papers that pop every time you try to tie them. My hair was melted into my scalp. So I'm going to tie this down while I style my hair and then go back in and cut off the excess lace. And that right here is just the band. Kind of like the bands that you sew in the back of your wig. Like an elastic band. I really can't describe it. And then to make sure that all of the hair is covered, I'm going in with a regular um, scarf just for extra security. So I can decide on, um, <laughs> I don't know what I'll be going through. If I want to curl my hair or if I want to straighten my hair because I have both of them plucked up like a silly goose. And then I didn't know if I wanted to do a part down the middle or a part down the side. And I ended up ripping a black band because it was going too deep into my hair and then I couldn't really get that part down the middle effect. So in this video, I started doing a part down the middle and doing it curly, and then by the end of the video, it was a part to the side straight. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. So I was in a rush to go to work so I didn't do an outro or intro but this is a week later and this is the install. So many of my friends was like girl did your hair where you went? <laughs> I did it myself boo. So I mean if you keep practicing I guess what they say is true you'll get better every time but don't forget to comment down below 
give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and trust me this is the best install i've ever done see you later babes